Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 9 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about adding product to the wishlist. So let's see how can we add product to wishlist. First of all, uh, let's add an icon on every product uh, from where you can add the product to the wishlist. Okay, so uh, go to the project and uh, let's open the sub component view file. So just go inside the resources directory, then views. Live wire and let's open this one soft component.play.php file and inside this uh, let's add here uh, before this add to cut icon let's add here uh, icon for the adding product to the wish list okay so let's copy this one okay and uh, paste here all right now save this file and uh, refresh the page and here you can see the icon for the add to wish list okay now let's make uh, this link working so go to the sub component class file so just click on app http live wire and let's open this one sub component.php file and inside this file, uh, let's create a function for adding the product to the wish list. So right here, public function and function name. Uh, let's say function name is add to wish list. Okay, and pass here three parameter. First is product ID, product underscore ID, and second is product name, dollar product underscore name and third one is product price product price okay and inside this function just write here cart and set one instance cart instance so right here instance and set the name with list and call here add function add and pass the product ID so right here dollar product underscore ID then product name dollar product name and pass the quantity one and then product price okay and also associate with product model so right here associate and uh, give the path model path so right here slash uh, app slash models slash model name which is product okay now save this file now go to the sub component view file and uh, inside this for each before this for each let's add here php directive so right here at the rate php and close this in php and here let's uh, plug the id from the wish list okay so create a variable w wish list items is equal to card colon colon instance and instance name which is wish list okay then contained and only plug the id so right here plug and pass the column name id okay and uh, inside this div uh, before this wish list let's add here at the rate if w dollar w items arrow contained contains and uh, pass here dollar product arrow id okay if uh, no curly bracket add here the else part 
and after this just close here int f okay now let's copy this and paste inside this if part okay and also inside this if let's add here one more class this listed okay and uh, copy this class name and add here the CSS for this class so go to the style section here and just add here dot this listed and set here the background color background color orange color so just write here as F15412 okay this color important and set the border one pixel solid transparent important okay and also set the this icon color okay so right here is listed i and color white as fff okay now from this icon let's call this function okay add to this list so copy this function name and uh, here inside this anchor tag just add here put here the hash sign and uh, then wire colon click dot prevent is equal to function name add to this list and inside this function just pass here product id so right here double curly bracket dollar product arrow id then product name so inside the single code double curly bracket up to this curly bracket okay and just pass here product name dollar product arrow name and then pass here the product price double curly bracket dollar product arrow regular price All right, now save this file. Okay, now let's create a new component for displaying the wishlist count. So go to the command prompt. And for creating the live wire component, I'll run the command php artisan make colon live wire a space component name. So component name wishlist icon component okay hit enter component created now in the application php artisan sir okay now switch to the project and uh, let's open the this list icon component view file so from resources directory live wire views live wire and let's open this one now remove this div Okay, now go to the layout file. So just go inside the layouts directory and open app.blade.php file. And from this file, uh, let's find here the wishlist icon. So here is the cart icon, and you can see here this is the wishlist icon. So let's cut this div. Okay, and paste inside this view file. And inside the layout file, just to render here live wire component 
and pass here the component name wish list icon wish list dash icon dash component okay and remove this now save this layout file and inside this wish list icon component view file uh, let's display here the count of this listed product so first add here the if directive at the rate if and then card colon colon instance instance name is this list and then call here the count method if greater than zero then display this count and just close here the if directive in def and for displaying the count add your double curly bracket then card colon colon instance with list okay and then count and inside this image uh, change the alt tag and just write here with list and in, inside this src just select a double curly bracket then asset and inside the single code just paste here the image path All right, now save this file. Now go to the wishlist icon uh, component uh, class file. So from here, let's open this one. And inside this, let's add here. Uh, go to the cart component, uh, sub component class file. And uh, from this one cart icon component class file let's copy this line and paste inside this wish list icon component class file okay now save this file and uh, inside the sub component class file inside this add to wish list method after this just call here dollar uh, this arrow Emit to and pass here the component name which is this list dash icon dash component okay and then pass here the name which is this one replace component all right now save this file now everything is done uh, one more thing uh, where the cart has been used as at the instance for the cart okay so inside this cart instance just add here instance name instance add here the name cart okay then arrow add method now let's copy this and everywhere I'll go to the cart component and uh, inside this just paste here remove this extra column sign also add here the cart instance name here also okay now go to the search component class file and inside this just paste here
okay now go to the sub component uh, cart component view file and uh, here this is the cart so add here the instance name cart here also okay and inside this cart icon component uh, view file also add here instance name cart Okay, now everything is done. So save all file and uh, let's check. So switch to the browser and refresh the page. Undefined method card. Okay, inside this where is the error? Inside the shopping cart. Okay, spelling mistake. Instance in also copy this uh, this line and paste inside this search component store method after this and also add inside the sub component class file after this okay Alright, I'll refresh the page and uh, let's add a product to the guest list. So click on this icon. And this time there is no any product or uh, in guest list. So add this one. Product added, and you can see here number of one product. Let's add more product. This one, this one. And you can see here number of product in this list four. So in this way you can add the product to this list. In next video we will see how can we remove the product from this list. So that's all about adding product to the this list. So thanks for watching this video. And if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.